Thank you, Chairman Stearns. Thank you for holding this important hearing to discuss <laughs> private sector views of a President Obama's regulatory initiative issued last year through Executive Order 13563. It is important that we hear from the private sector to assess whether President Obama's executive order is working to ease the day-to-day -day regulatory burdens on American companies and to evaluate if his regulatory initiative is creating jobs. Given the fact that his administration has taken no action to repeal any expensive regulations this year, I don't think they are off, they are off to a good start. I would like to take a moment to welcome our witnesses today and make special mention of Mr. Kimber Shoup, the senior environmental attorney who is with us on behalf of Oklahoma Gas and Electric Company. A medium, -sized, uh, a medium to small size award-winning utility in my state. I'm pleased Mr. Shoup will speak to of the challenges faced by OG&E as they try to navigate the regulatory train wreck of regulations coming from the Environmental Protection Agency these days. OG&E is in the regulatory crosshairs of several multi-billion dollar EPA regulations, including Utility Act, which happens to be the most expensive rule ever imposed on the utility sector, the cross-state air pollution rule, and compliance with the re regional haze rule. The regional haze rule is of particular note as Oklahoma officials presented a plan to EPA for regional haze they believe is right for our state, and now the EPA is bringing the heavy hand of the federal government to the Oklahoma ratepayers anyway by largely rejecting our state's implementation plan in favor of imposing its own federal implementation plan. This is yet another example of EPA's overreaching on the states with burdensome regulations without analyzing its impact on electric reliability or costs. It is important to note that these regulatory actions by EPA do not happen in a vacuum. They impact everything from a company's ability to invest and make capital improvements to the rates families and small businesses pay for electricity services. As we continue to press for real regulatory reforms, I am confident that this hearing will help us continue making the case that the Obama administration needs to move faster to reduce the regulatory burdens of American companies. And I yield back.